coach. How are you feeling coming off the uh, the bye week heading into Vancouver this week? Yeah, I think guys are feeling pretty good. You know, I think, uh, you know, the, the little bit of time off and, you know, we had some hard days last week and we gave another couple days off and, you know, tomorrow's just a reintroduction day or today's a reintroduction day, but we'll work them hard Wednesday, Thursday and getting ready for Saturday. What have you made of some of the internationals, the guys who've been playing over the, over the break? It's good. Happy that Raul played, you know, it was a little injury scare earlier. So happy he got 85, you know, happy for Gustav to play some minutes, happy for Christian, see what happens tonight. No, it's been good keeping them going. What goes through your mind when you get a scare like that and you start hearing things here and there? Uh, well, we make a bunch of phone calls. <laughs> we make a bunch of WhatsApps to okay. make sure we find out what's going on. So um, we connected with Raul and he, you know, calmed us down a little bit. But it's part of the game. You know, those internationals are not friendlies, so to speak, anymore in Europe. And you know, some of the games that are going to come up and games that we've had throughout the history of the club, all the qualifiers, everything. I mean, there's always a risk of injury. So that's when it's handy to have a deep squad. Uh, now that the situation with Clint is all resolved, how did you think the team kind of handled and reacted to it's kind of a unique situation to be in with a player that big and that important uh, retiring midseason? I think they handled it with the class, the dignity, the appreciation that Clint deserved and also that the team deserved. Because I know Clint made a bunch of comments as well about wishing the team well and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So I think both sides... It was it was handled in the in the most respectful fashion, and I actually didn't expect anything less. Has he been around at all, or did he have a final message for the team, or is he no, gone, gone fishing? No, he's, I, I don't know, but I hope he's catching a lot of fish somewhere, or just you know taking time with his family. But you know, he'll always be a big part of this franchise, and it was a big announcement. But the players, you know, they know they have a job to do, and they 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 accomplished that against Sporting KC. Coach, the game against Vancouver here a couple months ago started this winning streak. Now you get a chance to go try and make it nine at BC Place. Early thoughts on the matchup? Yeah, Alfonso Davies is going to feature this time. Um, they've actually on a very good run of form themselves. You guys can dig into that a little bit. So two teams that are playing at a pretty high level, it should be a very exciting match. Uh, the added bonus the flavor the you know a little bit of sparkle to the match is the cascadia cup i know we can go up there and get a result and that will come back to us and that's something that we're aware of as well so it's lots to play for up there uh, how hard is it to uh, get ready for a game with maybe some of your pieces out of international duty and they'll come in a little bit later that's challenging i mean how we get this week through i mean it's nice to have nico back you know, guys are flying in tonight, you know, Christian tomorrow, you know, it, it's it's challenging. Um, Roman tomorrow. So we'll, we'll have some challenges there, getting the group together in the sense that everybody's here. But the tactics, the, the message, the coaching has been, you know, I think pretty consistent all year. I think they all get what we're trying to accomplish. Again, we've played Vancouver, so I think they know the opponent. So... You know, just minor logistical challenges. Uh, you heard about Siggy uh, yep. stepping away. Well, what are your thoughts on that regard? Well, I don't know the ins and outs of that situation. Certainly, Ziggy was a massive part of our success. And we all wish him the very, very best. I know he'll land on his feet. You know, he's a survivor. He's a competitor. So I have, I have no doubts that he'll find a job that he wants to do somewhere in the soccer world. And it's just part of part of our sport. You know, there'll come a day when I get fired. So it's it's part of life. But he's always handled himself with class and dignity. Uh, so I got I got nothing but love for Zig. He used to say that as a head coach you gotta keep your backs packed. Is that <laughs> kind of a fact. <laughs> he, look, he's joking around. I'm joking around a little bit. We'd love to think that if we're doing good jobs, we can keep our jobs. But look, it is a, it, it, it's, it's pro sports. I mean, the players understand it. Coaches understand it. So, you know, I think he said that a little bit in jest. But, you know, he's had a, he's had a great, great coaching career. 
whatever he does, back in coaching, somewhere else, whatever he wants to do, again, like I said, I know he'll land on his feet. Um, he's, he's, a, he's a competitor, he's a survivor, he'll, he'll figure it out. Would you say the dynamic with Vancouver is uh, less contentious than maybe Portland? And how does the how does the rivalry feel? Kind yeah, of. We don't like Canadians. <laughs> no, that's our president. Um, no, on a serious note, um, they're, they're, look, it's a good rivalry between the three clubs. Just look, the the history with the Whitecaps is the same as the in length of time. Spirit. I remember going up there as a 17, 18, 19 year old kid playing reserve matches up there, and it, it was hard. One of my favorite stories is always we played a, a game in the USL. It was a preseason game. And the coach and I, you know, came to, hey, Brian, it's preseason. You know, referee blew the whistle. The ball goes out the touch line. Zach Scott was playing left back. He comes and just kills the guy. Straight red card, bench is empty, first five minutes of the game. So it, that might not get a lot of press. Maybe it was USL days. Maybe Portland, Seattle gets more press. But trust me, there's been some competitive matches between the Whitecaps and Sounders as well.